Hello everyone, um, I'm here in the start of this video to make some announcements. We finally have a patron, so everyone who wants to support me, please check the link in the description. And this is my first video tutorial. This will be the first of the many others. So please enjoy, check the patron, and let's go to the video. Um, hi, uh, this is my first time trying to record a video with a uh, substance design tutorial and this time I will try to teach you how to create my pattern, my template when I start a video. Every time I start a video I go to a new substance and click OK and you see already this template already done. So I will try to teach you how to do that and make this automatically. Just click here and set OK. So I will create a new substance and I will choose that metallic roughness. Just click OK and you will see this node already created. So but you need one more. It's your ambient occlusion node. So we just click here, drag down, you can rename in your identifier, we'll put the yo, okay. Some people like to add an item here, there it is here, okay. And okay, so let's start. First of all, I really like to create a blend node. This blend node will, you will connect with the height map, ambient occlusion, and the normal. And you can select this line with the normal space and put a normal view. You see this red line because every time it uh, lands up here, it's because you can't do that. But this is only red because it's not any node here to complete this blend. So if I put this, you see something change here and the red line disappears. So let's do this. And you do that with ambient occlusion too. So ambient occlusion and it's okay. And that's it. So um, for roughness and metallic, I will create a histogram range. In roughness, put this more to white and metallic, put more dark values like this. And you can do a histogram range or just a color here, like this, and put something like um, a gray. And this is the template. So a very important thing to to say in normal when I do some stylized material, put something like a high value like 20 here. And I will show you why. So I will create uh, I will take this brick material. some quick changes here and it's okay the default value is something like one or two I don't remember but 
when you work with a low normal salary, you see like this, it's, it's not a good looking to view your material. So put a high value by 20 and bah, that's, that's really better, much better. And many people ask me too why the, your material looks like flat. It's because you don't have a uh, tessellation. So go to material default definitions, this, and mark tessellation. And we will open this. And here in scale, you will increase. And when you increase, you see this bump. Make the material really look cool. And a very important thing is see the my ambient occlusion is not set up. So just right uh, right button, drag, and choose ambient occlusion, and it's okay. It's already. properly so but now what you have to do to save that as your default template so I will do that this so this is will be my template it's very simple um, just go to your substance folder a uh, very quick way to do this is just take one of these patterns, so everything here in your library. Right button, you see something like a link. So just click and we will open the substance folder. Go to your resources and go to our templates. So I will just copy that and here. That's renamed like a substance templates. Right button here. Save as just paste here, and I will save it. It's okay, I will close this. Now, when I will create a new substance, just go down. Wait. So, that's it. Just click OK. There is my template.